So, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Uh, I was mistaken... In, no, I wasn't mistaken. I mistakenly got it wrong in the last Silent Planet video that they released, Antimatter, which is still front runner for my favorite song of the year. Or, well, maybe not front runner, but it's, it's in my top five. I would say it's absolutely unbelievable. I've listened to it way too many times to a point where it's getting worrying. But anyway, um, I was, you know, it was brought to my attention that I had mentioned that Buster Out of Home actually produced this track or antimatter at the time uh, but it's actually daniel bronstein so first and foremost apologies for getting that wrong buster actually mixed the album so it's daniel who's produced it and buster who mixed it so now we've gotten that out of the way we have a new track by silent planet it's called collider and um, it is the i think technically the third single from the album if i'm not mistaken yes so technically i've just confirmed via silent planet's instagram that this is now the third single from their upcoming album called super bloom which is pretty cool name for an album i guess um this one's called collider and it was released six hours ago and we're about to jump in i'm very excited to hear what they have to offer it's going to be a tough task to top anti-matter but let's hope they can even get remotely close because if they can i'll be very happy so drop a like in the video guys make sure you're subbed to the channel if you are not already let's go straight in Definitely has more of a like traditional metalcore feel compared to Antimatter, which is cool. Nice variety. Fucking Garrett in some nick. They've done it again. Art sounds phenomenal. Brother. Wow. I wonder if we can fill the gaps between the stars with everything left inside. It's gonna tear us apart.
Oh God, yeah. I think personally, I'd love for Tesseract to get album of the year. Do I think it's gonna happen? I don't know. War of Being was phenomenal as a single. The Grey isn't bad. It's not my favorite Tesseract track. It's a bit of a grower, but it's kind of one of those that I probably wouldn't go back to that much, even with context of the album, I would imagine. That's just my thoughts right now. Silent Planet with these last two singles have been insanely consistent. It's that extremely punchy, modern metal sounds that i absolutely love but it still sounds like that old silent planet sound garrett sounds absolutely phenomenal in this there's a lot more emotion in this one last track was a little bit more monotone and it's definitely in that kind of like i guess the same thing that north lane did with that like matrix-esque feel to it a lot of edm influences running through the track this one still had that edm flow to it but definitely more in the kind of like instrumental department where you're actually getting a little bit more technicality from the guitarist so i think from a metalhead standpoint that maybe is a little bit more traditional this track would maybe suit them a little bit more but i personally fucking love both tracks so i still think antimatter is the better of the two i just think that one blew me away but at the same time this has come very close and to be fair i think that's a compliment in itself because Antimatter set the bar so high again is one of my favorite singles of the year and this one is just coming in right under it and I think this one has maybe uh, I don't want to say more replay value but definitely the chorus on this one is gigantic like as soon as I heard it straight away I was like yes this is going to continuously get better so that's what Silent Planet are doing very very well they're keeping me engaged because again I had this conversation on stream last night just kind of talking about how a lot of modern metalcore is getting very very samey for me and I'm just getting sick of the same shit being done so to hear like even that breakdown was a little bit unique I know I kind of mentioned the Valjarta-esque bends but it still just sounded like it had Silent Planet stamp on it which is very very unique in its own right so my rating for this track is a fucking strong like 9 out of 10 I love this track very very good can't wait to listen to it again let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below, guys. Again, help me get to 120k subscribers. And yeah, I'm signing out. Busy day today. We've got a lot of releases. So uh, you might see me one or two times today. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you later. Bye.